Hi. My name is Terry Carbonell, and I am your aviation instructor. Today we will learn about time zones, and Zulu time. Before we look at Zulu time, and flying across time zones, we must understand, exactly, what is a time zone. Think about the area where you live. And think about a typical day. Each morning, early in the morning, the sun rises in the east. Around noon, the sun is high overhead. Then, the sun starts going down, and finally sets in the west, sometime early evening. But we know, that the sun does not move. The rising and setting of the sun, is because the earth spins on its axis, and it takes 24 hours, for the earth to make one, complete revolution. So when it is noon at your house, and the sun is bright overhead, halfway around the world, it is dark. It cannot be noon, and be in the middle of the night, at the same time. In order to fix the problem, so people all over the world have the sun directly overhead at noon, is to create, time zones. Since it takes 24 hours, for the earth to make one, complete revolution, there are 24 time zones. The continental United States, is divided into four time zones. They are Eastern Time Zone, for the states along the east coast of the United States, and in the east part of the United States. Central Time Zone, next to the Eastern Time Zone. The states in the Central Time Zone, are in the middle of the United States. Mountain Time Zone, running along the Rocky Mountain states. Pacific Time Zone, is for the states along the Pacific Ocean, on the West Coast, and the very western states of the United States. When it is noon or 1200 hours, in the Eastern Time Zone. It is 11 o'clock a.m., or 1100 hours, in the Central Time Zone. It is 10 hundred hours, or 10 o'clock a.m., in the Mountain Time Zone. And, it is 9 o'clock a.m., or 0 900 hours in the Pacific Time Zone. Are you getting the idea, of how time zones work? All of the rest of the world, is divided into time zones too. Each time zone, is one hour difference, from the time zones next to it, on either side. Now, think about when you travel. If you live in Orlando, Florida, and want to go to Nashville, Tennessee, you will start in the Eastern Time Zone, and drive to Nashville, in the Central Time Zone. If you want to keep your watch on the correct time, you will have to reset your watch, one hour backward, when you cross the time zone line, to the Central Time Zone. When you go back home to Orlando, you will have to move the time on your watch, forward one hour, to be back in the Eastern Time Zone. Because airplanes can fly really fast, it is easy to travel across many time zones in one flight. When pilots talk to air traffic controllers, they often talk about the time of departure from one airport, and time of arrival at another airport. But, what time zone do they all use, if the airplane is crossing many time zones? The answer, is Zulu time. Zulu time, is also called, Universal Time Coordinated abbreviated, U-T-C. It is also called, Greenwich Mean Time, because of its geographic location in the world. Now that you know what Zulu time is, how do you convert your current, local time, into Zulu time? Look at the time zone chart to the left. Do you see, in the middle of the chart, at the top, the number zero, that zero, represents Greenwich Mean Time, Zulu Time, or U, T, C. They are three different names for the same thing. We will call it Zulu Time. The other numbers along the top, preceded by a minus, or a plus, represent the difference in hours from the local time zone, to Zulu Time. If your local time zone is a minus number, you subtract that number from Zulu Time, to get your local time. If your local time zone is a plus number, you add that number to Zulu time, 
to get your local time. So if it is 1700 hours Sulu time, and you are in the minus 5 time zone, which is the eastern time zone, your local time, is 1200 hours, or noon. Remember, the first two numbers in the 24 hour clock are the hours. The last two numbers are the minutes. When we add, or subtract, our conversion number, it is only from the hours. The last two numbers for the minutes, will always remain the same, when converting local time, to Zulu time. Let's work on a few examples together. If Zulu time is 1400 hours, and you are in the plus 2 time zone, then, your local time is 1600 hours. If Zulu time is 1400 hours, and you are in the minus 4 time zone, then, your local time is 1000 hours. If Zulu time is 0 200 hours, and you are in the minus 7 time zone, then, your local time is. Wait! You cannot subtract 7 from 0 200 hours. What do we do next? You need to know, that midnight, 0 0 hundred hours is the same thing as 2400 hours. But we only use 2400 hours in special cases. This is a special case. First, you need to add 24, to 0 200 hours. You get 2600 hours. Now, you can subtract, 7 from 2600 hours. You get your final answer, of 1900 hours. To review, to convert Zulu time to local time. Take Zulu time. Add, or subtract, the conversion number. That will give you your local time. So we have learned how to convert Zulu time, into our local time. But what if we know our local time, and want to find out what Zulu time is? We can still use the same chart. But we must use the chart in reverse. To find Zulu time, when we are in a minus time zone, we, add, the minus number to our local time. To find Zulu time, when we are in a plus time zone, we, subtract, the plus number from our local time. Let's try a few examples together. If your local time is 0 100 hours, and you are in the minus 8 time zone, you add 8 to your local time to get Zulu time. Zulu time, in this example is 0 900 hours. If your local time is 20 hundred hours, and you are in the plus 6 time zone, you subtract 6 from your local time to get Zulu time. Zulu time, in this example is 14 hundred hours. Let's do one more example. If your local time is 23 hundred hours, and you are in the minus 3 time zone, you add 3 to your local time to get Zulu time. Hey! Wait a minute! There are only 24 hours in a day, how can we have 2600 hours for a final answer? The answer is, we cannot have 2600 hours for a final answer. We have another step to do, before we get the final answer, remember that 0, 0 hundred hours is the same thing as 2400 hours. But we only use 2400 hours in special cases. This is a special case. Since we cannot have a number higher than 2400 hours, we must, subtract, 24 from 26 to get the final answer. When we subtract 24, from 26, we get 0 200 hours. This, is our final answer. To review, to convert local time to Zulu time. Take your local time. Add, the minus conversion number, or subtract, the plus conversion number, to that local time, that will give you, Zulu time. There. Now you know how to convert local time into Zulu time. Now, it is time for you to practice. Go to your adventure guide, module 4, and complete the exercise on time conversion.